Hey everybody, Lewis here, out in the uh, R Shack shop. Um, let me give you kind of a panoramic view of my shop out here. I uh, got the boat in. It's kind of hard to see. Boat in for the winter. Uh, then we'll go out fishing, you know, this spring and stuff. But uh, this is my shop, and uh, we'll spin around here. A lot of storage in here. <laughs> got a lot of stuff. Um, but anyhow, um, today. Got my meat church hat on. Uh, ooh, that was a little cold. Today, um, oh, let me show you this real quick. This is for uh, T. Roy. Um, I know he's a big Star Trek fan. Now let's see some of the. Uh, eh, I don't know if I can get into there. Pez head Star War Trek guys. And you can see a birthday card up there. Yeah, let's see. Somebody made for me. It's got a grill and pick up and things like that on it. Anyhow, let's get back to the topic. Sorry about that. Um, so, this week's cook, what I did was uh, I did beef jerky. And uh, I kind of did a Paris comparison cook. Um, what I did is I you took Frank's Red Hot Sauce and then also Sriracha. And I made two batches um, to do a comparison taste between the two. And then uh, also I did half of each of those on uh, my Traeger pellet grill. And then the other half on uh, my Nesco food dehydrator. Um, so not only did we compare the uh, taste of the two, uh, but we also compared the cooks and I will uh, show you here uh, my videos of how I prepared them and then the cook times and things like that. Um, what I can tell you uh, end results, uh, they both were really good. Uh, my wife just loved them. Um, everybody kind of preferred the Franks uh, over the Sriracha. So uh, it had a little more heat and a little more flavor. Regulators, you regulate any stealing of his property. We're damn good too, but you can't be any geek off the street. Got to be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Earn you keep. Regulators, mount up. Okay, so we're gonna mix up our uh, wet rub here. Uh, we're going to start out with a cup and a half of soy sauce. To that, we're going to add uh, a tablespoon of black pepper. A tablespoon of garlic powder. A tablespoon of onion powder. Then we're going to throw in a half a cup of dark brown sugar or light brown sugar. As long as it's brown sugar, that's fine. So a half a cup of that to give a little sweetness to it. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce 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 sauce. Worcestershire sauce, about two tablespoons. Then we're going to add <laughs> a teaspoon of liquid smoke. This will just add a little smoky flavor to it. Um, you don't have to do this, but it just adds a little bit to it. And then the final ingredient will be our Frank's red hot sauce. I don't put that sh on everything, but we're going to put it on this. So pour that in there and then we'll stir it all together and pour it over the meat. Stay tuned. Okay, I wanted to talk about the meat for a minute. Uh, what I got was a top round roast basically and then I trimmed as much of the fat off of it as I can because when you're making jerky, 
the fat uh, doesn't really take the smoke and it actually spoils a lot quicker than the actual meat does. So then what I did is I just cut it up um, into about a quarter inch thick slices here and uh, split it up evenly uh, between the three cooks that I got. Um, this right here is the sriracha or as some say sriracha? Sriracha. Um, this is uh, Frank's red hot sauce in this one and then um, this is actually for the uh, wimp in the family to be named later um, is actually teriyaki so I'm gonna make one batch of teriyaki for me I mean for the wimp um, to eat later so tonight put these in the marinade leave them in there overnight and then tomorrow we'll uh, divide it up between the Nesco dehydrator and the Traeger smoker stay tuned okay so this is uh, the Nesco professional series uh, food and jerky dehydrator um, it has different settings as you can see here and then it tells you what temperatures uh, to set it at for your different uh, type of uh, dehydration um, so when I think when I bought this, I think it came with five trays. We'll take this off and I'll show you. Um, there's the trays, they're individual, so you just stack them up. I bought six more because uh, I like to do jerky. Um, but uh, yeah, it comes with uh, like a vegetable insert tray uh, that goes in these and a few other things. But, we're going to use this. Um, I won't use all the trays. Uh, generally on this at uh, 160, I like to go between four and five hours on the dehydration process. So uh, we'll get these trays loaded up and I'll show you that. And then I'll also show you the trigger. Alrighty, so this is the uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce one. Um, I bagged them all up last night and uh, let them marinate overnight. Now I'm going to uh, dump this out in a uh, colander strainer in the sink and then I'll start laying them out. As you can see I have uh, the trays here and I have uh, paper towels to catch up any moisture so it's easier to clean up. So, um, sorry this is off screen, all I'm doing is uh, pouring this out in the, the strainer. And then uh, we'll just come over here and start laying it out on the trays. So as you can see, I'm taking it out of the strainer and I'm just laying it around. Um, I will do this on both trays. This tray over here will be going on, the, the black tray will be going on the Traeger, whereas uh, the white trays will be going on the uh, dehydrator. So anyway, once I get it all laid out, then I'm gonna come back with some coarse ground black pepper and just shake some on there to kind of add a little more flavor to it. So I won't uh, videotape the whole thing, but uh, that's basically how I'm going to do it, as you can see, got it laying there with the black pepper, and uh, we'll get these trays all loaded up and go from there. Okay, so we got uh, four trays of jerky on the Nesco. Um, the two bottom trays are the Franks, and the top two are uh, Sriracha. I will tell you that when I poured uh, them out in the uh, strainer, I could really, really smell the Sriracha one. Um, could kind of smell the Franks, but the Sriracha was really powerful. Um, anyhow, so now I'm going to uh, put the top on it, like so. Um, plug it in. going to let it go for two hours, then I'll check it and rotate the trays. So uh, this is pretty much, you know, like I said, says jerky at 160. I have it set at 160. 
So it's pretty much just to plug it in and let her go. As you can tell, it's not a very loud uh, dehydrator. So, uh, well, like I said, we'll let it go for two hours. Now to go get the Traeger ready. Okay, got to show my love for a few of my uh, fellow uh, barbecue people. Anyhow, I'm out here at the Traeger. So this is the uh, Big Tex. Uh, I bought this about uh, four years ago. Um, and uh, we're going to use this. So basically, got her plugged in. Turn her on. Get it to smoke. And uh, open her up. So right now she's going to get the fire. The auger's feeding the pellets in. I'm using uh, Traeger Premium pellets, so it's got a uh, blend of apple, cherry, pecan, um, and a few others I think. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, that's what I prefer to use. Um, so we'll let it to get up to temp here, get some smoke rolling. I'll probably leave it on smoke for uh, a half hour, and then I'll switch it to the uh, 180 setting and let it go for a couple hours. It should only take three hours on this. It runs a little hotter uh, than the uh, Mesco. Um, so uh, yeah, that's my Traeger. Okay, so it's been about three hours. Um, like I said, I have it set at 180 and it bounces around depending on how the fan is working. You can see it's going through a smoke mode right now. And I'm going to pull it up. And uh, let's see. These are done. It's time to pull them off. See how they taste. Uh, so it's been three hours here. Uh, it's still, uh, Nesco's still going. We'll go check that as I uh, now power this down. Stay tuned for more. Okay, everybody. Just uh, finished up uh, with the uh, jerky on the Nesco dehydrator. Um, so the Traeger, it took, um, let's see, it took it about uh, three hours to uh, smoke it. And then the Nesco took uh, four and a half. So... This one on this side, we'll try to zoom in in there. On the left hand side is the uh, Traeger Sriracha. And then the uh, one on the uh, right there is uh, the Nesco Sriracha. And then over here um, on the left once again is the uh, Frank's Red Hot from the uh, Traeger. And then the uh, one on the right is uh, Frank's Red Hot uh, from All right. Nesco. So, I'm going to start with the Sriracha side. And I'm going to start with the ones I did on the uh, Traeger. I'm going to tear it in half. Tear's real easy. That's, that's kind of neat. Now we're going to taste it. Pretty good, pretty good. A um, little bit of a kick, not bad, not bad at all. Very manageable. Um, definitely get a smoky flavor to it. Smoky color in it and a smoky flavor. Real good. Mm. Yeah. Now, I'm going to try the Nesco uh, ones. Tear it. It's a little tougher to tear than the uh, Traeger one. And uh, we'll give it a bite. Don't do not get any uh, smoke flavor. Definitely taste the sriracha in that. Woo! There it is. Now it's sneaking up on me. Ooh, that's good. Wow. Real good. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, I could taste the sriracha in the uh, 
both of them. Um, the ones on the dehydrator was a little stronger sriracha flavor, whereas a Traeger had a little more smoky flavor. But very good, both of them. All right, so now let's try the uh, Frank's Red Hot ones, starting with the uh, Traeger piece. Once again, tears right apart real easy. Nice pink color. Definitely see uh, smokiness in it. Now I taste it. Like I said, definitely a smoke flavor to it. And taste this breaks red hot in it. Not overpowering though. Um, definitely a little bit of a kick to it, but not much. Oh yeah. Very good. Real good. Real smoky. Now for the Nesco Frank's Red Hot. Tear it apart there. Like I said, a little tougher to tear, but uh, it does come apart. Hmm. Oh yeah. There it is. <laughs> Definitely taste the Franks in that one. Woo -wee. Yeah, coming up on me. Pardon me. I have a very sensitive palate. Mm. Okay. So, to be uh, completely honest, um, for me, the hot sauce, you can taste a little bit of the differences, but you know, they're both hot to me, both uh, spicy. Um, Frank's seems to be a little bit hotter. And uh, the ones on the Traeger are not as hot. Um, they have more of a smoky flavor to them. Easier to tear apart, softer, uh, softer uh, jerky. Whereas the ones on the Nesco um, are harder to tear apart, but yet they have a much stronger uh, spice taste to them. Um, for me, I would prefer the Traeger, uh, like the smoky flavor. Um, my go, if I was to do it again, I'd probably go, I did what, three tablespoons of hot sauce. I'd probably kick it up to uh, five tablespoons. Maybe throw in some uh, red pepper, chili, flakes in there just to kind of kick it up a notch. Um, from a dehydrator, like I said, they're definitely, you can taste the spice in it. Um, both of them really, really good. Like I said, I used a top round and then cut them into strips. Um, cut as much fat off it, trim off as much fat as possible, and then, uh, you know, put them on there. The Traeger took three hours. Uh, the dehydrator took four and a half. Um, and all I was basing that on is uh, color and tenderness. Um, really didn't check any temperatures, just just visual, uh, looking at them, tearing them apart, and seeing what the meat looked like. Uh, both of them really good. I would recommend that you try this. Um, you know, make sure you got your favorite uh, wash down beverage with you. Get it on your lip like that. Cheers. Uh, Keep on grilling and have a good one.